There's two different narratives that we have competing today about what's happening in global trade. One of those narratives is a globalist perspective about the gains in trade and how those have been dispersed across different regions and how consumption, particularly in Asia, is driving that growth. The other is a story about reciprocity and fair trade and about how there are imbalances in the global trading system when it comes to market access, tariffs, and the like. This is an image here of raw data on U.S. trade deficits. Now, I want you to pay attention to two things here. Where we are at the beginning with North America, where it's relatively balanced and there's a surplus even with Mexico. And notice also with Europe, right, the balance here. And then one other pocket to pay attention to is here within Southeast Asia. So if we skip ahead here, this is the viewpoint, right, that from those in the U.S. and elsewhere that says, we're all in favor of trade, but not when we've been suckered. What I hope you guys will take away from this is a better understanding of the fair trade reciprocity narrative here. And so for those who emphasize this fairness reciprocity question, right, there's a question, why has this happened? So if we skip ahead here, right, this is average applied tariff rates across countries. If we play this board, you really don't see very much in terms of the way of unilateral liberalization. And the reciprocity story goes something like this, right? We're all happy to engage in trade, but it has to be a fair bargain. And if over the course of time, you have higher trade barriers than I do, and as you gain greater shares of that, you're not lowering them, that's not a fair bargain. We know now that we have to accelerate clean, low carbon energy systems, uh, decarbonize big heavy industries. And when you look at where the wind exporters have come from, the front runners on this uh, were Denmark and Germany. And now the major exporters of wind technology have shifted it over now to China and to Vietnam. And that's a market of about $7.5 billion a year. Is that for 2016, for the first time, the big importers of wind technologies weren't in Europe, they weren't in the United States or in Australia. They moved now to Turkey, to Uruguay, to Mexico, South Africa, and others. And you're seeing now a next generation of installed wind capacity. I want then to go very quickly onto solar, which is sort of very much similar trend, but a much bigger market. It's about $52 billion a year. The big, big, big player on this is China. So the average cost of solar photovoltaic has come down about 50% in the last five years. And that's where we get back to why do we want to identify goods and services which have an environmental component to it. It's in order to make sure that those markets are liberalized. So with that in mind, looking at the decision earlier this week at the United States to impose a 30% tariff on solar photovoltaic, not identifying China specifically, but will have an impact on the cost of solar technology. These are absolutely critical global challenges, particularly after Paris and the Climate Agreement and the Sustainable Development Goals, we are committed to sustainability because it's a smart business thing to do.